This may be a long video. Is this a walkaway lease? No. I didn't you think see, so. A walkaway lease is a red flag. Mm -hmm. Okay? I mean, that's like getting married saying, okay, who's our divorce attorney before we get married and find the preacher? All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition. Another edition of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yes, sir. This episode of Make the Call is kind of special. You want to know why? You want to know why? I'm about to tell you why. Look, I got an email. I got an email from a subscriber. And the subscriber said, yo, Lockout, check out what this email says right quick. Hold on. All right. The email that I got from my subscriber says, Yo, my name is Supreme on Fire. Was good Supreme 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 on Fire. This flyer, as you can see, the detail sounds almost too good to be true. I don't check emails every day. I would like for you to ask questions like the first of like first of all, what's the name of this company right here? Verify the lease that is as low as $150 and uncover the hidden charges or things he's not telling us about. I can't wait to find out. Thanks in advance. I made the call to this uh, gentleman yesterday. I left a message uh, for him to call me back. I thought he was going to call me back yesterday, but he didn't. But today, yes, today he called me. It's Gail Whelan. Or something like that I'm not sure I'm not sure it looks like it's you know when I did a backward trace on this uh on this phone number it comes from a cell phone so I really can't tell if this is a legit trucking company or he's just a recruiter for other trucking companies I you want to know something to be totally honest with you I think he's just a recruiter for just different trucking companies because the phone number is out of columbus ohio let's call this guy back i was going to call another trucking company today but this episode right here just popped up and just fell into my hands so i hope you guys enjoy the uh enjoy the call and uh yeah let's get into it all right this is the email that was sent to me uh, the flyer that was sent to me so on this flyer it says average it says Owning your own truck makes more money. Let's see what this uh, flyer is talking about, y'all. Owning your own truck makes more money for you and builds an exciting future, which is true. No money down. We have more miles than you can run. Choose your truck from the current inventory. Give yourself a chance. Important information on lease owner operation. Average gross yearly income is $2,200, I mean $2,200. You get 100% fuel surcharge. You run on electronic logs. Lease to own payments, only $147 a week. Is that true? $147 a week. What kind of truck are you getting? The truck is yours for a dollar after four years again what kind of truck are you getting you can refuse the loads you can run the freight lanes you choose flexible home time home when you want full company benefits available this is a true lease to own program take home pay is average of $2,500 a week I'm liking that I like $2,500 a week. Miles available up to 3,500 miles a week or more. I don't know about the more part. You, you only got 70 hours in a week and you only have 11 hours a day to run. You can only run an average of 600 miles, maybe more if you cheat. But let's see. 
12 months recent OTR experience required. Call this number right here. It says call Tim, but another dude called me. So let's see what's up. Let's see what is up. Let's give this guy, let's let's give this unknown transportation company a call. Hello, Tim here. How are you today? Hey, what's going on, Tim? All right, this is uh, the gentleman calling back, man. All right. Okay. So I, I got this, uh, I don't know, man. I, I got this, this flyer that's, that was sent to me. And, uh, and I'm, I'm reading it. I'm, I'm just trying to get a feel for it, bro. I'm trying to get a feel for it. So talk to me. What's, uh, what, what am I not, what am I missing here? Well, that's a, that's a real open-ended question. It's kind of difficult to answer in a single sentence, but we can talk about it. Okay. Um, you know, the, the company is Western Flyer Express, and we have a lease program. Western Flyer Express, okay. Yep. Have you wanted to get your own truck? Uh, well, I mean, I've been a company driver for like the last four and a half years. I mean, the thought has came across my mind, but you know, there's still, there's still a lot of, you know, a lot of issues and stuff like that, uh, attached to owning, owning your own truck. Or let me rephrase that, uh, leasing the truck. So, yeah. uh, Western Fire Express, where, where are you guys located out of? Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oh, okay, okay. Because I'm I'm seeing that this is a Columbus number. That's that's why I'm asking. Yeah. All right. So you, you see, so so you, you you like you you like the what the National Cleveland Columbus area recruiter or something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I, yeah, I probably might have a, a few comp, uh, a few questions about that and about the company itself. Uh, I have okay. heard I have heard of. Uh, hold on, right quick. I have heard of uh, Western Flyer Express. I just haven't. I just haven't. Yeah, I've seen you know a few of their trucks out here, and I was kind of, I was kind of curious uh, about a about a few you know about about the company itself. Um, hey. Does is this uh is this like a a starter company? Like, do you guys do you guys sponsor uh uh schooling for drivers that don't have uh CDLs? No. Oh, okay. So this is like so this is like you gotta have experience to come in, right? Yes. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Oklahoma. How how so that's where the orientation will be at in Oklahoma? Yes. Okay. Uh how would I get out there? Uh chances are uh either bus ride or rent a car and drive there or maybe take a plane in, depending on what you want to do. Oh, okay, okay. So if somebody do want to take a plane, we can we can take a plane because that, that bus ride to Oklahoma is gonna be a long ride, bro. <laughs> right. Yeah, no doubt. Um all right, so I'm 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 reading the flyer. Let's let's get down to the part where it says lease to own payment is $147 a week. So what 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 model truck I'll be getting for that amount? Well, the payment is 147 a week plus 23 cent a mile, and you're you're paid the fuel surcharge on top of your base pay. So. You know, it's a dollar nine plus thirty-five cent a mile. So you're looking at about a dollar forty-seven or so that you get paid. Is and that so is that dollar pay, is that dollar forty-seven cent is 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 straight pay or is that with incentives? Like it's straight pay. Okay, but you said okay. that's but you, you said got your mileage plus your fuel surcharge. So that's my mileage plus my fuel. So. So can I you would, hear me all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, can you hear me? I think I lost you. Let me call you back. Oh, yeah, you're there. You can hear me now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got me? Yeah, I can hear you now. For a little while there, I think I was speaking and you couldn't hear me. Oh, no, 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 no. I got you. You you was telling me about the fuel surcharge and the base pay. So the base pay, right. is, the base pay is 100 and, I mean 100. The base pay is $1.09 and the fuel surcharge yep. on top of that is what? 
35. Okay. Now, do I get the fuel surcharge no matter what? Or Yes. Oh, okay. So On empty empty and loaded miles. Empty and loaded miles. Okay, okay. So that's about like you said about a dollar what now? A dollar fit dollar 40 about dollar. Yeah. Dollar forty seven or so. Oh, uh, dollar forty seven. Fuel surcharge, yeah. Dollar, you know, your fuel surcharge can go up and down. Remember, uh, base pay dollar nine. Okay. So, so the dollar nine won't won't be messed with. The only thing that'll be messed with is the surcharge. Right. Oh, okay. So one one week it could be, it could be thirty five. The following week it could be twenty five. Something like that. It really doesn't fluctuate that much because there's not a lot causing fuel to get cheap right now. Oh, okay. Okay. There's an awful lot that's trying to cause fuel to get a lot more expensive right now. Okay. Okay. As fuel gets expensive, the fuel surcharge goes up. Okay. Okay. Um, what's the, what other higher areas? Now, I'm seeing that, you know, that you're from Ohio. Where do you so live? Well, I'm I'm out of I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. But what That's up? Fine. You're in the hiring area. Oh, okay. Well, what what other hiring areas that you guys offer out? Like, do you well, guys? Do there, you, there's a lot. Do you? Hello. Yeah, buddy. Oh, okay. Do you guys hire out of Florida? Stuff like that down south? Not south of Tampa. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So the truck is mine after four years, and I just pay. One clean dollar. Right. But what I'm missing here is what what model truck that I'm getting for for that low of amount. Freightliner Cascadias, they're 2015s. How many miles on there? Well, uh, figure any truck is going to have about 100 to 125 thousand miles a year. Okay. Hmm. Because that's how normally how far you drive in a year. Okay, okay. So, so is so this is just so this is just based on a a freight liner. What's is is it different with other trucks or just freight liners is what you guys are offering? Freight liner Cascadias is what we have right now. Oh, okay. But what a lot of guys do is they build equity in the truck, and after four years, they use it to trade in and get a newer truck. Is that a newer truck Freightliner or a newer truck any truck? That's a newer truck of any kind that you would choose. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Is this a walkaway lease? No. I didn't you think see, so. A walkaway lease is a red flag. Uh huh. Okay? I mean, that's like getting married saying, okay, who's our divorce attorney before we get married and find the preacher? Uh huh. Okay? Okay. Uh, that, that showed you the. the the exit door before you showed me the, the entrance door. Okay. okay. The reason leases have walk walk away clauses is because they know you're going to walk away. Okay. Okay. They okay. want you to make a commitment like they're making a commitment to you. And a walk away lease is usually with the lease where at the end of the term you still have a balloon payment of thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on that rig. Okay. Oh, okay. That company is like, you know, especially Prime and, and different ones where you're not going to pay that truck off in four years. It's not going to be yours. Okay. So they, they let you do that deal until you just simply get tired of it. They say, well, you ready to go? Say, yep, I'm out of here. I'm done with it. You pay your own doggone bills. <laughs> okay. And it's saying that the truck, so that's saying that the truck ain't yours. But what you guys are saying that after this, after this, the truck is ours. Pretty much. That's right. That's right. Uh, okay. Okay. So it is yours. Okay. So, um, fuel surcharge. Uh, so it's not a walk away lease. So the orientation for a lease driver is that diff is the orientation different uh, from a lease driver than coming on with a company driver, or do you guys just concentrate on just the lease drivers? We concentrate just on the lease drivers. Oh, okay. So, do y'all do y'all have any company drivers there? Or? Yeah, there are a few company drivers, but Western Flyer Express has an excellent lease program. 
And you can hire on as a company driver if you want to, but the lease program is where the money is. And they've got the best lease program in America. Oh, okay. So I can't come on as a as a company driver first just to get my feet wet, just to see if I if if the company is good to me and then I can switch over to the lease if I want to. Yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um I can run freight. I can run any freight lanes that I choose. So what lanes are 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 available? Do you guys run the the entire 48 or you know because I'm Yes. So if I don't want to go up into the Northeast or over in California, I'm not I'm I'm not uh I'm not subjected to go up there if I don't want. That's correct. Oh, okay. 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 Uh flexible home time so pretty much if i'm a home, if if i'm a lease driver i could pretty much go home anytime i want right there's no yes. there's there's no no holes bars on that right no it's just your common sense right okay mm -hmm. uh you, you can't spend four days at home and work three days a week and think you're gonna pay that truck off it's <laughs> so <You're> true it's right. <laughs> so you know, true I, I wish life could be that way you know i really do and yeah you know, maybe it should be that way. But, but <laughs> lately, I've been thinking myself, you know, you know, all this work and I do all the time, man, it's like I'm living my life wrong. You know? <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? You know? But okay. your home time is flexible. You get home when you want to get home. And that means that when it's time for you to say, hey, let me touch base, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, enjoy my home time a little bit. I mean, if you want to take two or three days off or four days off or five days off, that's fine. You know, when you're home, you've only got that $147 a week payment. Okay. You know, and that's, because that 23 cent a mile isn't going to add up on you because you ain't rolling. Right. So that, that $147 coming out of my paycheck every week, right? Right. So that's regardless if I'm rolling or not. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, so the company itself do do they offer a sign on bonus for for company and or lease drivers? And if so, how much? No, no. The the sign on bonuses are another red flag, just like the walk away clause on a lease. Child, don't believe the hype. I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. A sign on bonus is something that you go there, and then right away they may give you five hundred bucks, and then three months later they give you another chunk of it, and then. Six months after that, they give me another chunk of it because they're trying to stretch it out for nine months to a year to make sure that you stay with them for at least 12 months. Okay. okay. And for a lot of drivers, they will stay someplace where they hate the job because they got another $250 of that sign-on bonus coming in the next two months, and they don't want to lose it. Do your research. Do your research before you just jump into a company. Don't just jump into a company for them sign-on bonuses. I'm telling you. Exactly. Okay. That is that's that that is my thoughts exactly on uh, on how I feel about sign-on bonuses. I really don't even yeah. consider it a sign-on bonus. I really consider it as a as an incentive. So yeah. It is, but nobody wants to go work someplace for three to six months get taken advantage of you know and get sent all over new jersey and the northeast all the time right just right. to pick up an extra fifteen hundred dollars you know nobody wants to do that right that is so, so true. Yeah, everybody's acting like oh man if they ain't got a sign-on bonus i need to find a company that's got a sign-on bonus you're not thinking it you're not thinking through this okay okay uh all right, so what about uh, drug testing for pre-employment drug testing? Do you guys do hair follicles or, or is it, uh, is it uh, urine? Uh, they'll do a, it's a urine test. All right. Now let me ask you this. Before I get, before I get to my orientation, can I take my, can I take my uh, drug test before I get out there? Or can I take, yes. do all of my, uh, do all of my pre-employment stuff before I actually get to the orientation? Yeah, you'll do all your pre-employment stuff before you get there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm not now. Now this is a can question. Now I'm not a felony, but I mean I'm not a felon. But what's your what's your policies on felons? Um, let's see here. They need to be at least seven years old, 
any prior drug convictions need to be at least 10 years old. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, in other words, are you guys felon friendly, pretty much? As, as long as it's not of a violent or sexual nature. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, my DLT card, would I have to get a new one, or can I use the, or can I use my current one if it's still valid? You can use your current one if it's still valid, as long as it has more than four months till expiration on it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I got, I got about, I got about six, give or take. All right. right. Uh, the fr uh, the freight that uh the freight that I'll be carrying for you guys. What is it? Refrigerated or drive-in or both? Uh, it's mostly drive-in. Oh, okay. Uh, do you guys have other divisions other than drive-in? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. So if and, I and, 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 yeah, those change up pretty often sometimes. You know, like they they even have a position hauling frac sand in the oil fields. Oh, okay. You know? okay. So there's a lot of diversified stuff that they got going on. So as a, is that is that available just to the lease drivers, or is that available to the to the company drivers as well? Uh, lease and company. Oh, okay, okay. Now let me now now being that you got you you just said yourself that you guys have the best uh, lease option program there, so. Do you, unlike other companies, do you guys like try to focus the good freight for the company drivers and just leave the lease uh, drivers just to just to get the freight whatever whatever's available, or is it no, the other way around? No, or is it balanced? The, the, the type of company you're talking about is like CRST, CR England. I mean, yeah, the, the, those are the jokers that play that game. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, th this company is in business to deliver freight. They're not there to try to screw you over in an opportunity to get your own truck. Okay, okay, awesome. So, in other words, uh, the dispatchers. Now, but let, let me ask you this: Is it? Uh, is it dis? Is can I choose uh, from a low board, or is it dispatch, and then I choose from whatever the dispatch gives me, and I go from there? Just Whatever the dispatch has available at that time, but you're going to be pre-planned on a lot of things. Okay. You know, and then I can and, I can pick and choose still either either yeah. when I'm pre-planned. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, now even now it says here full benefits. Even if I'm a even if I'm a lease driver, I I still get it. I still could take advantage of you guys' benefits. Yeah, they've got a benefits plan you can take advantage of. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, take home pay twenty five hundred a week. Is that uh, is that on average, or can I squeeze a little bit more out of that? <laughs> it's possible to squeeze a little bit more out of that, but you know, it, if I really tell you how much money people are really making, a lot of people wouldn't believe it. I got you. I you got know? you. And I try to put something on that flyer that's a little more realistic, you know, and some people still screw it up. Some right. people still get on their calculator, and they got a four-function calculator. Right. Two of the buttons they know how to use on the calculator. The other two is on their toes, okay? <laughs> and they, they think they can figure this thing out. They think they got it. Well, these numbers, uh, they just add them up. You know, and, and after they talk to me, they do it based on the dollar nine. I tell them, not the dollar nine plus the fuel surcharge. Okay. Okay. And so sometimes when someone gets something in their head and they think they've got enough information on that flyer to figure the whole thing out, um, sometimes there's no telling them that you know you're not right. It's not correct. It's different than that. Oh no, no, it says right here. You know it. So I, I try to put numbers on there that that are easy to wrap your head around. Oh, okay, okay. okay. But people are making a ton of money there, and they're getting their trucks. They're not getting screwed out of them. This isn't like, you know, CRST or CR England where, you know, you're, you're two months away from fulfilling your contract and getting your truck, and then all of a sudden all your loads are three, four, maybe 500 miles, and you're not making enough money to pay for the truck. You're not sending any money home. you got to leave. You know, uh, th this isn't that kind of opportunity. Okay, okay. So, you already mentioned the C. What's what's the CPM for uh, for a company driver? 
Well, it depends on your experience, um, and and that's not avoiding the question, but 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 it, but it it could be a range, and it really depends. You know, I mean, it's going to be somewhere in the forties. You know, okay. maybe may a higher forties or whatever, but you know th- that depends more on the amount of experience that you already have and where you live and where you want to run. The real opportunity is the lease to own. Okay. 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 Because in four years, you get your own truck, and where you start out, everybody starts out on a level playing field. All you need is one year of experience in order to qualify. Okay? Right. As a company driver, to get paid top dollar, you know, you want at least a million miles under your belt. Okay? Right. So uh, a lease to own program, it levels the pay, not the playing field, but the paying field, right? Right. Okay, it levels the paying field so that way somebody with a year of experience can get paid the same amount of money as anybody with ten or fifteen years that wants to come in on that same opportunity and get their truck. I want to I want to at least try to you know try to get in with the try to get in on the company side first to see if I actually you know like the you know the company itself before I make a commitment to the lease side. So well, that's that's what. Uh, that that's you know that's my ideal in my head you know on on how I would probably do it. Um, well, I, I think what you need to do is is understand that people at Western Flyer Express are happy with what they're doing. Okay, they mm-hmm. got a good thing going on, and they're getting their own trucks. And you need to give yourself a chance and believe in you for what you're able to do, and say that you know you can make this thing happen. Okay. You, right. you can't look at this is you starting your own business. This is you becoming a trucking company unto yourself. This is you being an entrepreneur. You can't look at it with a company paid man mindset, okay, of punched in the clock and so much per hour, and then understand what an opportunity is when you're the business owner. Okay, that's why business owners are part of the Ferrari Club, and people that work for them are lucky to be able to afford, you know, some Chevy Chevette or something. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. You need okay. to think about it that way. Number one, you need to believe in yourself. And number two, you need to get busy. Exactly. Okay, okay. So, so you ready to do this? Uh, mm, I'm still thinking. <laughs> I'm still thinking, man. Uh, All right, lean closer to the phone. Lean closer to that phone. Because <laughs> I'm going to reach to it, and I'm going to wrap my my hands around your neck until you do it. <laughs> uh, all right. So, all right. So you said there's no uh, there's no sign on bonus, but do we get paid for the orientation? How long is the orientation? Yeah, the, the orientations are paid. They're not going to take you there broken. You know, treat you like a, some goldfish in a bowl, and then say, okay, jump in the ocean and go for it. Okay. Do you guys offer, uh, so when I get there, do you guys offer any type of pay advances? Uh, yeah, they've got that set up. Oh, okay, okay. You know, through your fuel card and all that. Okay. Whatever they allow you to get, you know. It's, and uh, But the cool thing is, I mean, you're talking about a take-home pay of 8 to 10 grand a month. I mean that's eighty, eighty thousand a year plus in take home pay, and wow. that's what you're talking about after expenses. Okay, okay. What you about- know, all these questions you keep asking are about are, are about the things that are important to company drivers. You know. Yeah, I mean, you're, I'm you're, I'm you're, I'm switching I'm I'm switching back and forth because you know, like I said once again, I mean, I I would want to come in as a company driver to get a feel for the company before I, you know, jump into, jump into a lease because you already said yourself that, you know, this, this, it, this isn't a walk away and this is something that I pretty much going to have to etch in stone, which means, uh, which I'm segueing into another question. What will happen to me if I decide, if I'm leasing, and if I decided I don't want to lease anymore, being that this is not a walkaway lease, what will happen yeah. to me if I do decide to give up the lease? Am I still responsible for the 
for the payments or is responsible no. financially any kind of way? There, there, there might be, you know, some financial penalty or whatever, you know, like, you know, you're, you're making this account or whatever, the money you got saved up, you're making this account, they keep it or whatever, you know, but, but the key is you make that commitment. And you make that commitment not only to the company, but you make it to yourself. Okay. And regardless of whether you're in this lease program or still sitting in the truck you're in right this second, in the next four years, you're still going to be a truck driver, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of four years, do you want it to be yours or you still want it to be theirs? Hmm. Hey, you, got a, you got a point there. You, you do got a point there. You make a lot of you. You make a lot of valid, valid points, man. Uh, being that um, I'm a lease driver. You know why? You know why? Why? You know why? Why? Because I got gray hair. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take it. I, I, I take it. You're 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 a truck driver by by trade as well, right? Yeah, I've been a, a, a truck driver for. I was a truck driver for over eleven years, and I've okay. been a recruiter for. You know, more than eleven years, probably going on twelve. How long you been with Western and Express? No, that's it. Oh, Western Flyer. I mean, Western uh, Flyer. Thank you, thank you. Did not mean that. Yeah, did I mean that. Yeah, I was gonna say some guys, some people do make that mistake, and it's yeah. like, whoa, whoa, wait a yeah. minute, <laughs> grab the fire extinguisher. It's not Western <laughs> Express. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Western Flyer. There we go. My bad. Yeah. Uh, how, how how long you been with them? <laughs> uh, well, I'm a recruiter for them. Okay? Oh, okay. I'm not driving for them. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> um, for a lease driver, I'm assuming they offer this for a company driver. But do they do they offer per diem for lease drivers? No, per diem is something for a company person. Oh, okay. You see, when you get a bigger piece of the pie. And it's your company, and you're the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, your you, per diem is something that gets paid to a company person. Okay. Okay. And but as, but but that per diem compensates a company driver because they don't get the tax deductions that you do get. Oh, okay. They don't. They don't have a tax deduction of over seventy-five thousand dollars a year in fuel costs. Okay. 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 All right, this is a different world. You, you know, you, you get to itemize on your tax return. Mm -hmm. And that means that every little stink, a little thing that you spend money on in order to get your day done is a tax deduction, not a tax credit dollar for dollar, but it's a deduction from the overall money that you make in the year. So that way when you pay your taxes, you're paying taxes on less money than you would if you just said, well, I made this much money, how much of it's yours? Okay. Okay. So who so who leases out the trucks? Do do uh do restaurant is do restaurant flyer leases out through their company or do they, or they do or do it from an outside company? Uh they've got it they they do it through their company. Oh, okay. And and you know, some of the guys that have hired on are in a class where the owner of Western Flyer goes into the class. You know, and and says, you know, in four years, here here's a pay, you know, one of his paper dollars, you know. It says in four years, you give me that back, and you're going to have your truck. Okay, and, and you know, this, there's no credit check, there's no down payment, but they do want your commitment. They want, and, and it's a larger commitment that you make to yourself. Okay. Right. Okay. I mean, a lot of guys can't make a commitment to pass a new pair of tennis shoes. <laughs> Ain't that okay? the truth? <laughs> uh, these it, guys want you know want all the premarital sex before they even think about getting married. You know, right? They, they, they got to kick them tires and take it for a spin and find out. You know, but I mean, in four years you're going to have a truck. You take care of it along the way, but you know, in, in trucking, with as much you know, wear and tear as trucks get. There's no such thing as having a truck that's paid for and it doesn't cost you something every month anyways. You know, right. you're, you're always going to have maintenance. You're always going to have things that happen. And at the 
end of the lease, you're going to have a truck that has, you know, almost a million miles on it itself, or maybe a million miles on it. I mean, you're talking four years. There's another, you know, 500,000 miles you plan on putting on this sucker before you get rid of it. When you get it, you've got a piece of equity there that along the way you make your money off of it. It's paid for itself before you pay it off because along the way you've made your money. And there's a lot more money being paid to you than there is being paid to the truck. Otherwise, the deal doesn't work. Right. right. Well, this is a uh, this is this is a lot of a lot of information that uh, that I, that I need to take into, and a lot of coverage that you uh, that you went over on this uh, on this little flyer that I got, man. So I really do appreciate yeah. uh, appreciate you calling me back and uh, and getting with me to give me a little bit more. Uh, do you guys so? It, being a lease driver, because I know this is this you know this is covered by the company drivers. But for lease drivers, do they uh, get reimbursed for scales, tolls, and parking? No, that's all on you, man. Oh, okay, okay. You know, it's a different world. I mean, you may have to pay for everything, but you can tax deduct everything too. Oh, okay. All right. You know, but but you're still looking at. You know, two thousand dollars a week. You call your own. I mean, that's a good cabbage, man. I got you. I got you. I mean, the money's gonna be worth it. That's a good cabbage. Got you. All right. Well, Tim, man. Hey, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Like I You're said, welcome. I was just, uh, I was just reading this flyer. Like I said, you know, a friend of mine sent it to me, and I'm, I'm reading it, and I'm going like, huh. There's, there's something I'm not seeing here, but but you pretty much covered everything, uh, covered everything uh, that 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 was to my curiosity, and uh, okay. and uh, I would definitely pass this on to uh, to other drivers that might be interested too. So, but you, I, I don't know if this is like a catch of not putting the company name on the flyer. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to hide it or anything, but if I put all the answers on there, why are you going to call me? <laughs> right? I got you. I got you. I got you. It's so. like, you know, it's like riding it on the wall of a bathroom stall for a good time call such and such, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, it ain't scratch and sniff, is it? If it yeah. is, run. <laughs> <laughs> You say run, run fast. <laughs> no doubt. All right, all right, Tim, man. Hey, they uh, they they knocking on my door, man. So let me go ahead and get up out of here. And I appreciate it, man. If uh, if if something should change in my lifetime, I I definitely got this in my archives to to come back through. And like I said, I, you know, I'm in the Facebook group, so I will post this in in uh in the Facebook group too. And you know, tell okay. people that I tell people that I uh, chopped it up with you and all like that. So, I really do appreciate right, it, man. Thank you very much. Right. This is a great Welcome. conversation. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take it Bye-bye. easy now. Bye-bye. You too. Bye bye. All right. Yo, what do you guys think of that call right there? Shout out to Supreme on Fire, man, for you know giving me this uh, information for this suggestion on this make the call episode, man. Western Flyer, not Western Express, Western Flyer Express. Yes, I have seen their trucks plenty of times, plenty of times. So this is the company that's uh, that Tim is recruiting for. A uh, lot of good points. Still, you know, not being able to walk away from it you know like he mentioned you know that it's a red flag i understand that but still you know it's something to think about now as as i suggest that you guys if you're interested in getting into leasing go company first don't just jump in the water before you before you know what's in it you see what i'm saying you see what i'm going with that don't jump in the water unless you before you know what's in the water if it's safe for you because you know jaws might be out there you know 
I'm just saying. But anyway, Western's Flyer Express, man. Let's uh, let's uh, let's let's go over uh right quick what they what they offering. So to drive for Western Flyer Express, their company drivers they have local metro areas, home nights and weekends, uh, Dallas and Houston. Drop and hook is fifty percent. No touch is ninety nine percent. The pay is nine hundred and fifty dollars per week. Max is twelve hundred dollars. Advances a hundred dollars a week. Safety bonus one fifty fifty. Driver for passing one, two, and three DOT inspections. Uh, they got Midwest Regional, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma. This will probably be something that I will probably be interested in right here. Uh, but the pay, as you can see down at the bottom, I'm not too much interested in. Uh, length of haul is 850 miles, 37 to 42 cents CPM. Yeah, we got to jump a little bit better than that. Uh, I-40 and below, the Texas fleet. Drive van, drop and hook, uh, same thing as the Midwest. Northeast Regional, you, you definitely going to get paid more for that because drivers is not interested in going into the Northeast such as myself. But if you want to go there, you would get 50 to 54 cent, 950 miles on that. Midwest Regional, drive van. Oh, wait, hold on, Midwest Regional drive-in okay y'all okay oh wait a minute now wait a minute now 50 to 54 cent okay now now we talking now we talking not wait 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 45 to 47 now we talking now we talking about 2200 to 2700 miles 650 no touch 50 percent dropping hook Flatbed, yes, they got flatbed. So if you're interested in flatbed, this company might be for you. Hiring areas, so, uh, South Central, Midwest, Southeast, Northeast, 1,000 miles, 2,600 to 3,000, 45 to 47 cents CPM. I think you should get paid a little bit more for flatbed if you're a flatbedder. I'm just saying. Equipment available, not 2019 Freightliners, Navistar, International LTs, and T680 Kenworths. Now, let's flip over to the lease side right quick. Oh, wait. Now, let's switch over to what they got to offer for a lease. And by here, they got RWTL Capacity Solutions. They work along with another business for their lease program. So let's uh, let's see what let's see what the lease what they got to offer. Lease purchase terms for 2019 or older Freightliner Cascadias LTS and light trucks 72 months or less, 60 months or less, 48 months or less. Lease purchase terms for all Kenworth W9. So if you guys like those hoods, they got it. 84 months, 72 months. New payment structure, as as what Tim explained to me, because like I said, there's still there's still a catch-22 here. They say it's 145 base pay, no charge, 20 cent. 23 cent CPM variable and 12 cent CPM maintenance warranty. You pay off all trucks for one dollar. One dollar. When the lease is complete, you own the truck. Now, you want to know what I should have asked them? No, no, it just answered my own question. So, what do you guys think? Western Express, man. Uh, something that you guys might be interested in? If so, give my man Tim a call. I have the information courtesy of Supreme on Fire. So if you want that same information, I will forward it to you. Hey, yo, this was a great call, in my opinion. It was a good call, man. Good conversation. So thanks to Supreme on Fire for 
for the suggestion of the make the call if you guys want to get some suggestions in leave it in the comments below email dm all that good stuff i will find it i will make the call for you and get the information for you so hit me up in the gmail at lockout men the dm at instagram at lockout men and on the facebook in the facebook group which is lockout men makes the call on facebook talk to us there man let's chop it up all right if you guys like videos like this and more please please by all means subscribe like comment share and hit that bell so you can get more videos like this out the dough yes sir out the dough and don't forget to hit a brother up for some coffee i keep asking y'all for some coffee i want some coffee 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 can you give it to me please coffee anyway anyway all right all right i gotta go i gotta i <laughs> i gotta pick up the pickup i got to go so i'll talk to you guys later in the next video stay tuned lock out me makes the call every week one day just make sure you hit that bell it'll pop up i'll talk to you guys later peace this may be a long video but I'm gone.